You're not going to send me back, are you? Why shouldn't I? Because I didn't do the thing I'm charged with. I did, silly. I swear I did. I was railroaded. You believe me, don't you? Fifteen years in that hell hole. Fifteen years for something I've never done. Where did you escape from? San Dimas. San Dimas. Ever happened to run into a prisoner by the name of Cortez? Why, yes. Is, is he a friend of yours? A friend of mine. He killed my father. Process. Don't let him get me. I swear I'm innocent. <laughs> That's why I escaped. Come back and prove the truth against the man that framed me. Got a warrant for me or something? Oh, nothing like that, Jim. We're looking for an escaped convict. I reckon you ain't seen such around here, have you? Escaped convict? Nobody like that around here. But it might be a good idea to search the barn. Maybe we'd better search the house. We may be trying to hide him. Wait a minute. You don't understand. That's Jim Lester. He wouldn't hide the man that murdered his father. You mean Francisco Cortez? Yes. He escaped last Tuesday. We've trailed him this far. I haven't seen him. I hope you get your man. Come on, bud. So long, Jim. So long. Seven men in Rawdon. Justice in this to the town, the sheriff would make me a de de deputy, a, de 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 a marshal. <laughs> oh, what's the why? What's the horror? Oh, 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 sheriff, I, I, I was judging to just look, look, looking for, for you. Say, sheriff, what, what, when are you going to make me a, a, a de de deputy, Oscar? When you catch this man, I'll make you a deputy.
Well, 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 he's pr 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 practically cook up the cord now. Hey, you boys. That's an easy thousand bucks for somebody. Francisco Cortez. Say, that's a familiar name around here. Francisco Cortez escaped. Oh, yeah. That's the man who killed Dan Lester 15 years ago. I remember. They had a fight over a land grant belonging to Cortez. Yes. The rancher around here sent Lester to buy the land from Cortez, and he was murdered and robbed. Sure, I remember now. And he got life for doing the job. And now he's escaped? You must be a tough one. got word that Lester's son is headed this way. You know, that means trouble. You think so? Well, let me tell you some real bad news. Old man Cortez has just broken jail. Escaped. Uh-huh. So, it's come at last. Yeah, but he'll never get here, because I'm going to, uh... Boys, we ride. Stop talking, stranger. You've got a lot to explain. 
I ain't explaining nothing. You'll change your mind when you're in the hands of the law. Get on that horse. And no false moves. nothing to worry about in these things, just some little practical joke. Uh, 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 j -j 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 joke, eh? Well, 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 well if it's a joke, I, I, I don't see anything for, 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 to la la laugh at. Sure, it's just a harmless joke. What do you make of this, Sheriff? Have you men received the same kind of warning? Yes, yeah. and the Sheriff thinks it's a joke. Well, it looks to me like it can't be anything else. Why not? Well, none of you men have committed any crime that you're trying to keep covered up, have you? So, no. Did it ever occur to you it might be the work of a madman? Master, that means the seven of us. Well, well, maybe it ain't a joke after all. It's likely to be a joke on you, Sheriff, if you don't get down to business quickly. If you don't catch this phantom, We'll take the law into our own hands. That's what we'll do. But Mr. Macklin, listen. Come on, step lively. Sheriff, this number used me for a target last night. Maybe you can make him tell why. Well, who are you, mister? My name is Jim Lester. But it's Jim Lester. You don't mean that you're Dan Lester's son? Yes. And it looks as if someone doesn't walk me around this town. Well, what are you going to say to yourself? I ain't talking. Wait a minute, Sheriff. Maybe this will make him talk. I found it stuck to my saddle after I captured him. Gentlemen, we have the phantom. Good, good. And with the proof we have, it looks like a mighty long stretch for you. You can't do nothing to me. I ain't the phantom. Oh, no! Well, if you ain't the phantom, who is and where is he? Come on, speak up. It'll be run out of here sooner or later anyway. All right, I'll talk. It's... I... I thought I heard a shot. You did hear a shot. And I reckon the sheriff would like to talk to you. Say, hey, what's going on here? I found her looking in the window. I, I didn't see anything. When I heard the shot, I was going to your office to show you this. Say, if that fellow ain't dead, we'll make him talk. Come on. Well, when I'll be... Why, he's gone. When I'll get him. Sheriff, I'm warning you, keep the law out of this. It's old man Cortez. He's the phantom. Come on, let's get him. He's taking the rock, boys. Scandal will surround him. And listen, don't forget he's to be taken alive. Come on, boys. Yes, dead or alive. Come on, boys, let's go this way.
What are you doing here? What right have you to question me? I saw you throw that warning at the sheriff. I'm thinking that you're the phantom. Well, what have you got to say for yourself? This. Come on, boys. The old man's getting away on those wild horses. We've got to get him. Dark is the symbol of the Phantom, a mysterious criminal whose threats have terrorized a western town ever since Francisco Cortez escaped from prison. Cortez was serving a life sentence for murder, but he insists that one of seven men was really guilty of the crime. Blair, Landers, Macklin, Drake, Johnson, Hollister, Stewart, Jim Lester, son of the murdered man, is attacked by agents of the Phantom while he is trailing a mysterious band of horsemen who use the name of the Phantom as a password. Jim captures one of his enemies, and the sheriff forces the prisoner to confess, but a shot through the window seals his lips. Jim, rushing out, captures Mona Cortez, the convict's daughter. The sheriff, who knows her by another name, accepts her explanation. But Jim believes she is the phantom. Cortez, surrounded by a posse, attempts to escape amid a stampede of wild horses. Mona and Jim are caught in the path of the stampede. The wave of frightened horses sweeps them up to the edge of a cliff and over.
There he goes. But it's all your fault. But you had to fire that shot and stampede of those wild horses, we'd have got him. And listen to this. From now on, I'll handle this alone. That suits us. We'll tend to it ourselves. Come on, boys. Sort of a trick I expected you to play. After the other things you've done, you and I are going to have a showdown. A little later. Hard luck, Sheriff. Looks like he got away from us. Yeah, no use trying to follow him without a party. Come on, let's move back to town. Phantom. Boys, we ride. Say, who are you pushing anyhow? Well, aren't you? Or I don't know. by coming into my room. I want to know who you are. What's your connection with this phantom? None of your business. You may as well talk. I saw you throw that warning to the sheriff. Was it you that had me ambushed last night and pinned that phantom warning to my saddle? You'll talk to me or talk to the sheriff. I tell you, these pack of warnings have come from just one person. Francisco Cortez. What about young Lester? What's he doing here? He's just as dangerous as Cortez. Well, what are we going to do about it? Do? Do what any other man would do. Destroy his enemies before they destroy him. The rest of you can remain here and get a shot in the back. I'm getting out.
I got the dope on the girl. She sent that message to the sheriff. What? Yes. I overheard her and Young Lester talking. They're up to something. Think? Who is she and what's her name? All I know is she goes by the name of Mary Smith. Mary Smith, huh? A convenient name to use when you don't want your real one known. Give me a cigar. I'm getting out, I tell you. I'm getting out. Wait a minute. Johnson, we went into this together, and we're going to see it through together. Try and leave these parts and something will happen. Understand? Oh, all right. I'll see it through. I don't trust him. He's liable to double cross us. He won't get far. Traitors never do. Who's that hombre that just went out? Why, that's Lee Johnson, one of the biggest ranchers in the district. Thanks. Mr. Johnson sent this over. Why is Mr. Johnson now? Well, I don't know. I ran across him in town. They asked me to bring this note over to you. Lace Johnson. He isn't here. Search the house. I tell you, he isn't here. This will prove it. Get down. Quick, ride to town and warn Lace. Now, yeah, 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 young man, I'm going to give you one, one, one more ch 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 chance. Now, well, 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 where well, well, were you on the night of ma ma March 25th, 25th, 14th? Well, well, where were you that d d d d day? Now, a answer me in the, in the name of the, of the, of the, of the law. Now, you b better tell me. Because I might as well let you know it, I'm the sh sheriff. 
Oh. So you still refuse to 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 uh, to talk to speak to. You still refuse to do you? Well, I'll make you talk talk. I'll make you 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 you'll speak before I get this through with you. Can I re repeat, repeat, I, I ask you, where were you on the night of the 25th, the 25th? Where, where, where were you? Oh, so you still refuse to, to, to talk, eh? Well, I'll make you talk. I'll make it to your specific speak. Maybe th th this will make you speak. Now, where, 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 where were you? Honey, I'll be Oh, uh, hello, uh, hello, sh sh Sheriff. Well, what's on your mind? Oh, there's, there's nothing, nothing on my, my, my mind. Oh, I know that. Well, Sheriff, did you did you get get, get him? No, Oscar. I came back to organize a posse. A p p a p p a p p. You're going to organize a p p a p p posse? Well, well, sh sh Sheriff. Now is your chance to make me a d d d deputy, huh? Arthur, you're a lot of bother to me. Sheriff, where's Lake Johnson? Why? What's up? Well, his life's in danger. There's a mysterious bunch of horsemen from down the old ranch. You're too late, Sheriff. Deputy, this thing would never ha happen. Oh, Oscar, listen. I've got enough troubles without making you a deputy. Oh, if you'd only m m make me a de de deputy for a de 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 oh, oh. Don't try to stop me or I'll shoot. After that, I suppose you wouldn't hesitate to shoot me, too. I didn't kill him. Hands up, both of you. Just a minute, Sheriff. Lake Johnson is dead, but I've got these two murders, Jim Lester and the girl. It's a lie. Stop! 
The Phantom's up for no man. This dart is the symbol of the Phantom, a mysterious criminal whose threats have terrorized a western town ever since Francisco Cortez escaped from prison. Cortez was serving a life sentence for murder, but insists he was not guilty. His daughter Mona, whom he has not seen since childhood, is trying to discover the real criminal. Jim Lester, son of the murdered man, not knowing Mona's real name, suspects she is the Phantom. Leif Johnson, doomed by the Phantom, is murdered in a hotel room while the place is surrounded by a mysterious band of horsemen who have been looking for him. Jim finds Mona searching the dead man's room. The sheriff accuses them both of the crime, and they are fugitives from the law. Mona is abducted by the Phantom, and Jim goes to her rescue. Stop! The Phantom's up for no man! My daughter. <laughs> no good, boy. You have to go back.
What's the matter with you, anyway? Oh, I, 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 I lo lo lost my badge, and, and, and somebody a a attacked me from the rear. It must have been the Phantom. The, the Phantom? So, well, what's that? The Night Riders. There's some connection between them and the Phantom, and I'm going to trail them. I think a half an hour ago, I was talking to Lake Johnson. Now he's dead. Murdered. Yes, and we'll all be murdered if we don't get the Phantom. Who is the Phantom? Who is this girl that searched Johnson's room? Perhaps she's the Phantom. Big news, boss. The girl that works for Landis is Cortez's daughter. That can only mean one thing. She's here working with her father against us. We've got to get rid of that girl. We don't want to get rid of her. She's our trump card if we play her right. We've got to get a hold of her somehow. You can't get her. The sheriff just arrested her for the murder of Lake Johnson. All the better. Cortez will surely try and free her, and we'll be waiting for him. Be ready for him tonight. Have a man on every trail leading into town, and others at the jail. And don't forget he's an escaped convict and can be shot on sight. Okay, Mr. Macklin. The sheriff captured the girl. That means our next move is against her. Tonight, then, at the usual time and the usual place.
I'm warning you, Lester. Don't meddle with things that don't concern you. Untie that rope, pal. We've got to get to town pronto. into that jail and make it lively. Come on, Boone. Where's the sheriff keep the keys? Dad, I, I don't know. I'll be out of here in a minute. to protect her. Come here, boys, pray of him. Rex, you come with me. Wild horse cannon, I'll hold him back. Oh, but Danny. Don't talk. No time for them. We 
figure that you might come up here. Not so fast, Jim Lester. The Phantom wants Cortez. This dart is the symbol of the Phantom, the mysterious criminal whose latest outrage was the murder of a prominent rancher. Circumstances point to Mona Cortez, who was found in the dead man's room, and she is arrested while trying to get away. Jim Lester, who was with her at the time, is also accused, but escapes. He trails a mysterious band of horsemen who have some connection with the Phantom, and learns that Mona is their next intended victim. Risking capture by the sheriff, Jim writes to warn him of the horseman's intention. But meanwhile, Mona is rescued by her father, Francisco Cortez, an escaped convict, whom the dead man and his associates feared for some mysterious reason. Jim rescues Cortez from his enemies, but as they are getting away, the lights go out, and a voice warns Jim that the Phantom wants Cortez. What do you want? None of your business. Oh, sh sh sheriff. Oh, sh 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 sheriff. I j j j just saw j j Jim and the girl out there riding on the white st stallion, the white st st the white ho horse, and they're leaving to 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 town. Come on, boys, let's go get them. You keep out of this. We're taking a big load off your shoulders, but you don't know it. Come on, boys. They can't go scared of me. Sheriff, if you're going to ride, you're sure going to ride alone. Yeah, that, that, that's what I sisters to say.
This thing has gone far enough, Sheriff. And it's about time someone cleaned it up for you. Well, what do you know about it? I know all about it. And I'm willing to talk. Well, speak up. Who threw that? Traders get but one warning. And this is yours. The pen. Here comes Jim Lester. You better tip off the ball. young lady has met with an accident. I thought perhaps you'd give her a first aid. Surely. Step inside. If you make yourself comfortable, I'll do what I can for the patient. Thank you. that you're wanted for murder? Murder, eh? Time up, boys. You've reached the end of your trail, Lester. Well, now that he is safe, don't you think we'd better see to our other, uh, shall I say, guests? Hands off. The girl belongs to me. The Phantom. Oh, hello, Chef. Hello, Mr. Blair. Come in. Why, what's wrong? You look like you've seen a ghost. Or maybe the Phantom. Well, the fact is, Sheriff, I, uh, he was just as surprised at seeing you so early in the morning, Sheriff. Uh, has anything new developed? Has there? Why, the Phantom got Sam Hollister right in my office. What? And I found a letter in Sam's pocket from Leif Johnson, which proved they were both killed by the same party. And the Phantom is Jim Lester and the girl. Oh, no. It cleared them absolutely. They weren't even in town when Hollister got here. Sure. Why, what's the meaning of this, Blair? Well, I thought he was wanted for murder, and I did what any good citizen would have done. Oh. What about last night, Sheriff? All that shooting to save an escaped convict. I owe him a vote of thanks for that. He stopped the crowd from assaulting a lynch law. Well, I'm sorry, old pal. After all, though, my mistake was quite natural. I think I understand, Mr. Blair. Ruby! What has happened? I left.
let the girl alone in the room for a moment. And when I returned... Yes, sir. Go on. Go on, dear. The girl was gone. And a withered old man was here. He grabbed my arms and started toward the window, muttering wildly about an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Cortez, the phantom. Which way did he go? Out the window, I think. Did you tell the girl whose ranch this is? Naturally, I introduced myself. Why? I just wondered. I don't see anybody out there now. What are you looking for? It's time we had a showdown. Can you explain your actions? Or are you a criminal? You can believe anything you like. There is no doubt about it. Cortez is a phantom and we've got to get it. I know how to get Cortez. How? Oh, we all know he's hit out in the hills with that bunch of wild horses. That black stallion we caught out of the herd last week. Turn him loose and he'll lead us to Cortez. Good idea. Maybe it'll work. Take what men you can find and stop them at once. I'll get my horse and meet you at the ground. Okay, sir. All right. I told you last night, Sheriff, to leave this affair to us. Are you going to stand for a thing like that? We're warning you all, don't try to follow us. Where did they go? That way. Why? I'm going to trail them. It's our only chance to find out who they are. You mustn't go. They warned us not to follow them. Their warning don't mean anything to me. on the horse and is trailing that stallion. She's going to warn the old man. The boys will know how to handle her. But what about Jim Lester? We can't let him go after those terrible men alone. You're right, dear. We'll have to take good care of Mr. Lester. Follow him, boys, and be sure and take good care of him. Leave it to us, boss. We'll take good care of him.
Move quickly, Daddy. Blair's men are coming to get you. This dart is the symbol of the Phantom, the mysterious criminal who strikes before his victims can tell what they know. Among those who fear him is Martin Blair, a wealthy rancher. Blair and his associates have reason to believe that the Phantom is Francisco Cortez, an escaped convict who is hiding in the hills. They plan to capture Cortez, but his daughter, Mona, rides to warn him. Meanwhile, the Phantom's boldest stroke is delivered as a mysterious band of horsemen who use the Phantom's name as a password ride up to the Blair Ranch and ask for Mona. The sheriff clashes with them, and the mysterious riders take him prisoner. Blair is afraid to interfere, but Jim Lester, who is trying to solve the mystery, starts in pursuit of the horseman. He is waylaid and fights for his life on the back of a runaway horse. Meanwhile, Mona, meeting with an accident, lies unconscious under the hoofs of two fighting wild stallions, while her father, powerless to save her, is attacked by his enemies.
happened? We got to get out of here. Jim! Oh, we can't leave him here. Never mind about him. He's our enemy. Oh, but Daddy, he saved my life. I tell you, he wants to send me back to prison. I tell you, we've got to catch this fat. All no man's life for safe. It's a serious situation. When a band of night riders can come to town and take away the sheriff, an officer of the law. It's all right to talk about action, but what kind of action do you propose? Why, I propose a vigilante committee like they had in the days of 49. That's a good idea. That's the right. That's you. You've got the idea. That's a great idea. We form a vigilance committee. Absolutely. Well, who's going to lead your vigilantes? Well, 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 I, I, I'm a na natural leader, and, and besides, the, the sh sheriff made me a d the deputy just before he was to took it. And boys, there's the, the badge. Oh, get out of here. Don't p push the deputy. Beat it around for you. Go on, get out of here. Please, Jim. I know you have every right to think badly of me, but... I can't explain. Won't you just trust me? There's only one man can lead us. And that's Jim Lester. Hey, Jim. Come over here. Come on, Jim. 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 Come on, it looks as though you were elected. And your first job will be to capture Cortez. <laughs> Pack of water. Where did it come from? Whoever lifts his hand against the phantom is doomed. Gentlemen, I had it in mind to refuse your nomination, but I accept the phantom's challenge. I'll lead the vigilance committee. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, and you, you and I are going to make it very, very, very such a tough for the for, for fan. Hey, you boy, you bet, Oscar. You bet, you lie. I... Listen, Jim, this is no place to discuss these matters. Right over the house tonight, and we'll talk it over. Ruby will be glad to see you. What do you say, huh? Let's go. All right. <laughs> You know all the boys. Hello, Jim. Hello, boys. Hi, Larry. I know you gentlemen think Cortez is the phantom. But I believe the real solution of the mystery is the Knight Rider. And if I ever get within reaching distance of them again, I'll find out who they are. Well, you may get that chance tonight. What do you mean? Every time these horsemen ride forth, Someone receives a phantom warning in advance. I got one tonight. In that case, I'll go and get ready for them. That's all right. I've taken every precaution. Those men outside the door will never leave my side. And I have other guards around the house. All right, Mr. Blair. shot down by the phantom. The phantom? He's not dead. He's only wounded. The bullet, it just grazed my shoulder. Whoa. 
well, well, what's all the sh 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 shooting ab ab about? Keep out of this. Well, we got him, boss. Oh, so you're the phantom. Just a minute. She couldn't possibly have done it. I saw her looking in the window when the shot was fired in the library. I've got business with the night Riders. Shoot, that's Richards. There's a spy among you. What do you mean? Somebody knocked me out the ranch and took my coat and hat. A spy, huh? If he's here, we'll find him right now. You men pass by me one at a time and show your faces. There, it's Lester. Lester? Our only chance is to make a fuck for it. Oh, the shale slide. Oh, no, no. Come on! mysterious criminal. The boldest crime laid at his door is the removal of the sheriff by a mysterious band of horsemen who use the phantom's name as a password. 
Following the sheriff's disappearance, a vigilance committee is formed with Jim Lester in command. That night, Jim attends a party given in his honor at the ranch of Martin Blair. The mysterious horsemen arrive and take Blair away, never guessing that Jim is riding among them as a spy. Mona Cortez, daughter of an escaped convict, whom the Phantom has doomed, follows the horsemen secretly. Jim succeeds in rescuing Blair, but he's thrown from his horse on a steep hillside under a hail of bullets. Right. Looks like we got him, boys. You ride down and see. The rest of us, come on, after Blair. Come on to that Blair or I'll shoot. Come on, men. It ain't Blair, it's Cortez's daughter. Where's your father? I won't tell you. Well, if you won't talk here, we'll take you where you will. Come on, men. Lester. We don't have to worry about Lester. Where is Blair? Three men take care of Blair. The rest of us will take the girl to Hidden Valley. Stop! What happened? The, the, the phantom. The phantom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get rid of that fellow. Yeah. 
He went that way, Oscar. Father, why are you acting so strange? Now, no one must know that I escaped from the horses. They must think I am still their prisoner. But why? Who are those mysterious horsemen? I think they're agents of the Phantom, and my disappearance will enable me to find out all about them. Oh. Now remember, no one must know that I am here but you. <gasps> the Phantom knows. Remember. Oh, Miss B -b 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 Boyer, the, 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 the Phantom g -g 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 got away. But with me on the job, <laughs> he's p -p -p practically c -c caught. Stay here till you tell us where to find your father. Oh, my father has suffered enough. What do you want with him? Just to answer a few questions that may set him free. Oh, I don't believe you. I won't tell you where he is. All right, then. There are other ways of finding out. We'll spread the report that you're held here. He'll come to save you. And when he does, well, no one can blame us if an escaped convict accidentally stops a stray bullet. Knocked out, same as Richard, by this fellow Jim Lester. Then he must be among us. Guard that tunnel we've got in quarter. Come here, gang. Jim Lester's among us somewhere. This guy. Let's see those faces. <whistles> That's Lester's horse. Falling.
back in there, you. Come on, pal. Come here. Come here, pal. You're going to help me. I need you. We must have got him, boys. He stopped firing. A pretty smart trick. Well, he can't be far away. Let's get him. If the tunnel isn't guarded, we'll be able to make our escape on foot. Come on. Go now, boys. Oh. Our only way out is down the old trestle.
I'll lower you down and then follow you. There's no time for that. You slide down and I'll stand them off. symbol of the phantom, the mysterious criminal who warns his victims in advance. On the heels of his warning to Martin Blair, the wealthy rancher was taken from his home by a mysterious band of horsemen who used the phantom's name as a password. Jim Lester, head of the vigilance committee formed to break the phantom's power, has aided Blair to escape. And only Blair's daughter, Ruby, knows that her father is hiding in the house. Meanwhile, the phantom writers have captured Mona Cortez, to make her reveal the hiding place of her father, whom the Phantom has doomed. At the risk of his life, Jim rescues Mona. isn't guarded, we'll be able to make our escape on foot. Come on. Go now, boys. Come on. Our only way out is down the old trestle.
I'll lower you down and then follow you. There's no time for that. You slide down and I'll stand him off. Back up and jump! Back up and jump! Back up or I'll shoot! Jump! Those are horses! We'll let those men take care of that too. We've got to catch our horses or be left here afoot. They're scattered and they can't follow us. Try and see if he got home safely last night. Larry Ranch. That needs to be our home before all this happened to my father. Your home? Yes. Please let me down. I'll wait for you here. All right.
if Jim left us. Remember, no one should know I'm here. Not even Jim Wester. Howdy, Miss Blair. I'd like to see your father. He isn't here. I haven't seen him since last night. That's strange. I helped him get away from the night rider. Come quick. Old man Cortez is hiding somewhere in the house. Watch out. Run out. Patrol the house. Cortez is hiding somewhere. You knew all the time your father was here. Oh, but I... I know why now. Because you didn't trust me. Listen, you get out of sight, and I'll try to get him away. Come on, come on, boys, you're old. We took the law on our own hand and give this murderer a little ride. Oh, no, you don't. I'm acting sharp, and I'll face charge of him. He's a phantom. We're standing with him right now for the man he's murdered. He's been all right, Lester. This man is a menace and should be removed. Nothing's been proven against him yet. I'll handle it my way. Don't let him leave with Cortez. to put old man Cortez in jail. What will we do next? Don't move. Take care of Cortez before he gets a chance to talk. Speak what I tell you to say, or else. 
Tell him you'll have Cortez in here in the back room tonight of the saloon. I'll have Cortez in the back room of the saloon tonight. Tonight, Landers. I'm placing you under arrest, Landers. And be careful of your actions as we walk out together. Hey, Lander. Funniest I ever heard. <laughs> it's all my fault, Father. I trusted Jim Lester and he sold us out. I warned you to be careful of him. Be careful, Father. Hey, hey, hey. None of your f -f funny, but uh, your, your, your monkey, monkey business. I'm on to you. You know, I'm a per pretty well a wise good good guy. What are you gonna do to Cortez, Macklin? Once Cortez cuts his foot in this room, we're ready to fight him for all time. You wanted to see Cortez? Here he is. Well, since you've got nothing to say. I think Cortez has a few words to you. No, I suffered for 15 years for a crime that one of you committed. Two of the seven are dead. Blair is missing. So far, three men have paid for one man's crime. There are four of you left. Do you want to suffer the same fate as the others? Lester sold your father out to the Macklin crowd. They got him out in the back of the saloon. Are you going to speak? I didn't do it. I only know how he was killed. The man who killed Dan Lester was... The God too far! <laughs> is the symbol of the phantom, the mysterious criminal from whose vengeance his intended victim, Martin Blair, is hiding in the walls of his ranch house. Blair's whereabouts are known only to his daughter, Ruby, and she is guarding the secret jealously, even from Jim Lester, chief of the vigilance committee formed to break the phantom's power. Jim has arrested Francisco Cortez, an escaped convict, who many people believe to be the phantom. He lets drop some false information to Bud Landers, a saloon keeper, and listens in while Landers telephones the misinformation to Royce Macklin, a former associate of Blair. Macklin takes the bait and summons a meeting of Cortez's enemies. Meanwhile, Mona Cortez, failing to find her father in the jail, listens to Landers' crafty suggestion that Jim has sold Cortez to his enemies. It's all my fault, Father. I trusted Jim Lester and he sold us out. I warned you to be careful of him. Be careful, Father. Hey, 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 none of your funny business, uh, your, your monkey, monkey business. I'm on to you. You know, I'm a pretty well wise good, good, good guy. What are you going to do to Cortez, Macklin? Once Cortez cuts his foot in this room, we're ready to fight him for all time. Cortez, here he is. Well, since you've got nothing to say, I think Cortez has a few words to you. Uh, I've suffered for 15 years 
for a crime that one of you committed. Two of the seven are dead. Blair is missing. So far, three men have paid for one man. There are four of you left. Do you want to suffer the same fate as the others? Lester sold your father out to the Macklin crowd. They got him out in the back of the saloon. Sure, I can't. You're going to talk. Uh, I'll talk. Speak up, Drake. Who killed Dan Lester? The man who killed Dan Lester is... Drake, you gone too far! Wait! Quick! I've got the phantom! Here, whoa, 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 wait a minute. What Here? Whoa, whoa, what's going on? There's the phantom and he shot Drake. That's a lie. There's only one way to deal with murders. Well, I know, no, 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 nobody. Jim, Jim, well, well, wait a minute. I wanted to, to tell you something, Jim. Why must we go on working against each other? No reason at all. If we could just learn to trust one another. I'm ready. From now on, we'll all work together. You, Father, and myself. It's a bargain.
I'd like to know how Jim Lester got away last night. I just had Jim Lester on the trail. He was headed for the Blair Ranch. Headed for the Blair Ranch? Come on, kiddo. He said Jim Lefty was on his way here to get you. Stop coming to me. I'll shoot. Oh, please. Please. Miss Blair, I must see your father. I haven't seen him since that night he was taken away. That gun, Blair. This is your last chance to speak. Who killed Dan Lester? Stop, or I'll shoot. It was Macklin killed Drake. I swear it. Now, Miss Blair. Blair, you and I have come to a showdown. On this very spot. You tried to murder me yesterday. No, 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 no. Mac and I swear it was Cortez. Drop that gun. It is you that have come to the end of your rope, Macklin. Blair has confessed it was you that murdered Dan Lester and railroaded me. How? Oh, no, no, Cortez. It was Blair. That's Stuart and Landers.
dart is the symbol of the phantom, the mysterious criminal whose most cunning stroke has thrown suspicion upon Jim Lester. Jim, who has vowed to capture the phantom, is accused of being the criminal. He rides to the ranch of Martin Blair, who is hiding from his enemies. The phantom telephones to Ruby Blair that Jim is coming to harm her father, and she betrays Jim into the hands of Kino, an agent of Jim's sworn enemy, Royce Macklin. Macklin, one of the phantom's intended victims, comes to see Blair in his hiding place inside the walls. Francisco Cortez, an escaped convict, captures Blair and Macklin, accusing them and their associates of the crime for which he was imprisoned. Mona, his daughter, assists him as he forces a showdown with Blair and Macklin. All right, there you are, Blair. You come to the end of your rope, Macklin. It was you that murdered Don Lester and railroaded with me for the crime. No, Cortez. Up, Stuart O'Lander. Don't lie. Blair had told me everything. Heard Blair outside, Mona. I'll need him for a witness. The man who let me go to jail for a crime he committed. Come on. Hey. Are you sure? Positive. Blair has told me the truth. That's a lie and you not. You'll swear my life away to save the truth. And if you have any doubts, search the files in the Burn Hotel in town. If there's any proof in those files, you put them there. You'll have a chance to tell both stories to the law. I'll take charge of these men. You go in and search the hotel files. Come on here. Get going. Wait a minute. Tie him up. He'll keep Macklin and company in jail. Come on. Wait a minute. I don't trust Blair. You go to town. I'll stay here and watch you. All right, Dad. Now that you've got us, what are you going to do? You dare not show yourself in town after what happened last night. Yeah. I don't expect to. Hello. Hello. Give me a robin, 6142. Well, 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 as I was t telling you, I was in a tough situation, situ a tough spot, spot. But it didn't for frighten me. I p p pulled out my gun, I sh shot once, and seven of the wrestlers dropped dead, dropped dead. I k killed them all. Hmm, the, 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 the telephone. Well, I guess somebody else wants the, the strong arm of the law. law, law, law. Don't go out. I'll be, be right back. Hell, 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 hell. This is Jimmy Lester speaking, Oscar. I want you to come out to Blair's ranch and take in the prisoner for me. G -g 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 Jim L L L L Lester? Well, who, uh, who is your p p p p p p p prisoner? Uh, 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 Ma Ma Macklin? And, 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 and you say you got Ma Ma Macklin out at Blair's Ranch? Oh, 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 okay, okay. 
I'll be, be right, 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 right I, I, out. Did you say Macklin is a prisoner? You, 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 you just will wait until I come back here with my prisoner. Jim Lester's got Macklin at the Blair Ranch. We ride. You'll never let to swear away my life. You're hardly in a position to carry out the effects, Macklin. Do you think that stuttering fool of a deputy will ever get to jail with me? You never can tell.
You, the Phantom? You would have done better not to have seen so much. that if Oscar had sense enough to bring a posse. Come on, make it snappy. Come on, let's go. Take them prisoners from you, Lester. So you're the friends Macklin said would save them, eh? Well, try and get them. You mustn't, Jim. You can't fight them alone. There's a heap of sense in what the young lady says, Lester. Come on, Keno. You too, Macklin. Get out here. Jim. Take this man's horse so he won't try to follow us. He's not to do anything. I'll borrow one of your horses and follow them. Well, all right. Mona is on the phone. She seems to be in trouble and wants you. Hello? Come quick, Jim. I'm in the hotel and I've discovered the phantom. It is. What? Who's the phantom? Hello? in danger, and the phantom cut the wires. Give me your horse, Oscar. I'd better get to town. Yes, yes, Mr. Stay for port. You ain't going anywhere. Put it away. This is no time for fooling. Uh, I'm not for fooling. I tell you, I've got to go. Mona's in danger. She found out who the phantom is. The phantom? Yes, you... Oh, hold on, hold on there. If there's any for, for phantoms to be caught, let the law, law, law do it.
I want that girl. the symbol of the phantom, the mysterious criminal whose latest victim is Mona Cortez. Mona, while searching for evidence that will clear her father of a crime, has incurred the phantom's vengeance. Jim Lester, riding to Mona's rescue, finds her at the mercy of Bud Lander, whom Mona surprised wearing the phantom's disguise. Oscar, a deputy sheriff, is riding to help Jim capture the phantom. Don't worry, Jim. Here I come. Here I come. I'll be right, right, right up. I want that girl. Lander, you know who killed Dan Lester. Speak, man. You haven't long to live.
You have nothing to gain by keeping silent now. All right. I'll tell. Jim Lester. Here I am. The Phantom. Yes, I've got the Phantom at last. Why, it's Oscar. Why, I can't believe it. Why, boys, let's bring him up. Get him up. Get him up. Wait, 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 wait a minute. You, you, you people don't, you don't understand. I, I, I'm not the, re the, the real f f Phantom. This, this is just a disguise to, to, to catch the real Phantom. <laughs> I'm, I'm a smart deputy sheriff. I, I, I am. You're nothing of the sort. You're not a deputy sheriff. I am so, so, so a de 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 deputy sh 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 sheriff. The sheriff made, made me one just before you fellas took him away. You're a liar. I did no such thing. Jim Lester. Well, what are you thinking of? Yes, I'm in Yes, I am the sheriff. And these mysterious night riders are a bunch of special deputies that I swore in to handle the phantom situation. What do you think of that? What do you think of that? Jim Lester. I congratulate you on capturing the family. Good boy, Jim. Good boy. You trapped me while you were there. That's all I'll take it away. Are you hurt? No, I'm all right. He didn't have time to hurt me. Thanks to you. Say, Sheriff, if the horsemen are all deputies, how come they try to shoot Miss Cortez and me up in Hidden Valley? That wasn't my men that attacked you. They were bears. Well, this never would have happened if Lester and the girl hadn't followed me when they took me away. You admit that you had yourself kidnapped by a bunch of fake horsemen, eh? Why? Well, I was afraid the Phantom would get me the same as he got Lake Johnson and Sam Hollis. That's oh. why I decided to disappear. Oh, yeah? Lake Johnson. Sam Hollis. Sam Hollis. What do you think of that? You all thought that these boys were dead. And it's from no fault of the murder they're not. We managed to save them in spite of him. Can you boys identify the man that shot you? We, we can. can. Who was the man that tried to murder you? It, it was, was Blair. 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 Blair.
It's true. And before Mr. Landers died, he finished his confession. Jim, Mr. Blair murdered your father. No good, Blair. We got the goods on you. Cortez, tell your part of the story. Well, it was 15 years ago. I owned the ranch that Blair now has, and almost all the rangeland under an old Spanish grant to my family. That old deed clouded the titles of a lot of little ranchers who had homesteaded on my land. They subscribed to a fund to buy me out and sent Dan Lester to make the deal. Lester and I talked it over in the back room of the saloon. Landers was working in the bar. He waited on us and heard what we were talking about. He must have put something in our drink. For the last thing I remember is seeing Lester fall asleep. I couldn't keep my own eyes open. Well, the next thing I knew, Lester was dead, shot through the heart. And the gun was in my hand. Well, that's fine, Cortez. Leif Johnson, will you tell us the other side of it? I'm talking for the rest of us that had a hand in it. There were six of us cowboys playing pool in the saloon. Landers tipped us off to the wad of money that Lester was carrying. The seven of us planned to rob Lester. I swear that's as far as we intended to go. We drew lots, and it fell to Blair. He went in, and we all waited outside. Suddenly, there was a shot, and Blair came running out and said, Lester woke up and started to fight, and I had to plug him. That shot made murderers of us all. The conspiracy of silence was the only thing. We placed the gun in Cortez's hand and raised an alarm. Cortez went to jail for life. We divided the money and the land. But, Sheriff, I don't understand. If Blair is guilty, what was the Phantom doing? I, I'll tell you what that rat was up to. He's my half-brother. He got wise to me and started to double-cross me. That's how I happened to get myself kidnapped. After my disappearance, Oscar carried on the Phantom business. It was he who shot Drake. He intended to murder all of us and inherit the whole property under the original land grant that was recorded in my name. All right, boys. Take him away.
Cortez, your freedom is now only a matter of form. I release you on parole until such times as the court that sentenced you can reverse the verdict. Oh, Daddy, aren't you happy? 